cracking, my Jays. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Android TV. You know what time it is. Apologies for the late upload because I actually got sick and got tested positive for rhinovirus. Not Rona, rhinovirus. Like a rhino. I feel like I got fucking hit by a rhino. So I was out of action for a good five days. So I was playing catch up with life and shit. So, uh, yeah. As you can tell from the title, we copped us off in daily. The product was gone. The new EK Civic is in action. Look, it's not going to be no K swap, B swap shit. But uh, hey, down the track, you never know. It is a good, great, fantastic base for it. In this video, we will go through the adventure of picking up a car by ourselves, solo, straight after work. It was uh, quite the adventure. I had to shoot on my iPhone, unfortunately, because I didn't bring my camera with me. But I've um, got a bit of a few info as well. I got, I got scammed. <laughs> yeah, I fucking, I got, I got yoinked. Um, actually, twice. I can tell you about one incident. The second one, I'm actually going through legal proceedings about so i had to tell you guys about that after it's resolved um <laughs> but yeah just stay work man there's motherfucking scammers out there my jeez but uh, hey we got 4,000 monthly listeners on spotify now is it actually 4,000? let me double check oh shit 4,010 monthly listeners on our spotify guys so if you guys want to you know in your spare time and you're not driving your whip or going to school go to uni go to work like Pop the tunes, bro. Put your headphones in, chuck on your Bluetooth speakers. My dog's deep house remix, especially. Uh, shout out to my boy Per Chance, man. He went crazy on the remix there. I mean, go pump the music, my gang. It's there. So uh, enjoy the video and I'll uh, catch you guys soon. What is going on, guys? Yandori TV back at it again. Man, we just finished work and uh, about to take these clothes off and get changed, bro, because uh, I ain't pulling up to look at a car like this. We're about to go um, pick up a daily cuzzy. So we changed up, we got the guns out, motherfucker. Um, but we're about to go look at an EK Civic, yeah? And look, I didn't bring my camera, so I'm using my iPhone. Hopefully it turns out all right. Yeah, let's go check out this whip. Very important to be in some comfortable gear. Worry about getting your clothes soiled. You need to get in some comfortable attire and you gotta think about the shit you're gonna buy. But yeah, let's get it. We bought the Civic, we drove the Sylvia back to the station, parked to the station, closer to home, jumped on the train, and now we're off to Stratfield, we're going to get picked up by the owner, and then drive him home, and then drive the Civic home. Mission's well, but you got to do what you got to do, man. Yeah, and I'm still out from initially leaving home from work as well, so it's been a long day. Right, we just got to Stratfield, now we're just waiting for our lift and uh, then we're gonna pick up a Civic and drive it off home. <laughs> Missions! But I love it. Adventure. Yo! Thanks bro! Let's go! Oh yeah, thanks bro. Fill it all out, let's do it. Thanks bro. Thanks for coming to get me man. Let's go! It's pretty dark though. Yeah. I just caught an Uber back to the whip. <laughs> Literally. So he has been waiting. Looking good. Let's go, baby. Still got my work bag and everything too, bro. Shit. You. Because you don't believe that I actually brought the cars back myself. I can't believe you, but how did you get back to the other car? An mm. Uber. Did you Uber it? Mm. Did you run? As you can see, I ain't shifting gears. <laughs> we ain't in no Prado. We cop the daily, an EK Civic to be specific. <laughs> yeah, this is actually what I wear 40 hours a week. In case you guys didn't know. Hey, 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 don't you jump. I'm trying to drive. I spent 40 hours of my life per week dressed up like this. Um, yes, I work in corporate. Um, if you guys want to know a bit more about my educational background and career, let me know. I can do a video on that. Because, <laughs> I mean, how the hell do you think I afford all these things, bro? The money don't just fall on trees. Grow on trees. And plant many trees. Anyway, guys, a lot of things to fill you in on. 
first and foremost, we sold the Prado. Uh, sad to see it go. Um, probably wondering like, why would you sell a car, especially when you've got a trailer and shit. It wasn't really serving me to the purpose that I wanted. Like, I bought that car to go on adventures, to go towing, and now I'm trying to save up for the next project, the next big thing um, that Kirsten and I are working on. And at the same time, I got the Mark II, I got the Sylvia. I don't want to get rid of those two cars either. I want to keep them because uh, I know for a fact if I sell one of them, I'll buy it again later. So I've already got it now. May as well just keep it. You know, circumstances could change. I get a crazy offer on one or the other. And yeah, boom. Never know. Laters. Um, but anyway, we sold the Prado because we needed something a bit more dateable, a bit more better on fuel, and a bit zippier. And I was actually thinking of cars like the Honda CRV, Toyota Rav4, but compared to those cars, like those are just general commuter cars. You can log on every single week and you'll see 60 of them, <laughs> new ones pop up, right? Whereas with the EK Civic, it's quite still a sought after car, quite rare, and it's P Plater's dream. And it's funny, I spoke to a couple of mates and they're like, you do know Mighty Car Mods is building an EK as well. I'm like, what? Seriously? Like, I was looking at EKs well before I even saw the video and I saw, oh shit, yeah, they're, they're building an EK as well, which is sick. Um, and look, if you guys are expecting me to drop B16s and shit like that on this car, uh, I don't know. Probably not, not yet, because I've got other projects to work on. Like, do you guys want to see, you know, Kanjo spec? K-Series B16 Civic or do you want to see one JZ Mark II and SR20 uh, 1VR? You know, I literally bought this car for daily commuting. <laughs> watch me eat up these words, bro. You, you watch me eat up these words, I'm gonna be like slamming this bitch on 15s. Uh, nah, but I, I really bought this for daily commuter purposes. It's little like a little bubble to drive around in and really it's only me driving in the, in the whip. So like I don't need to be driving around a seven-seater. Uh, driving around a seven-seater. Uh, but a quick, brief rundown of the vehicle. It is a 97 Civic GLI, which means it's got power windows. It's got air conditioning, power steering, you know, all the basic good stuff. And it's a D16 single cam, non-VTEC motor, four-speed automatic. Uh, a lot of people are like, eh, why didn't you get a manual, bro? Well, when you drive a manual car, bro, if you've been driving these things, if you go drive a 97 Civic in manual, right, it's probably been clapped out 600 different times, like your local hooker down the road, right, its box will be flapping around, there's meat flaps doing these ones, like, like a fucking cut up piece of lettuce or cabbage, right, that's what the mood's gonna look like, all right? You drive an automatic, there is no manual box to bash around. There is no clutch. There is barely any limiter bashing. In fact, when I was test driving this thing, I was like struggling to speed up so I can get this bitch into fourth gear. Um, look, it's not a fast car. It can be a fast car. It's a very light car. It's a great chassis to do all those things in, but I literally bought this car for the sake of daily commuting. Like, I don't know if I ever want to lower it, because I'm liking this stock height shit. I was driving around yesterday after work to get to the, the Sylvia, to the um, the location of where this car was. And bro, I was scraping over shit left, right and center. Like in um, fucking, like fucking Bankstown. They got like, there's so many cunts that speed down those roads. So they've got speed humps everywhere. So like I'd go into the middle of the road just so I can avoid going over the speed hump. It's just... Look, look, I love the Sylvia, it's great, but it's just, to drive it every single day, it's a bit of a, uh, how do I say, a bit of a pain in the ass. But there's actually a bigger reason to it as well. Uh, the Sylvia actually turns 30 years old. Yeah, this month it turned 30 years old, boys. So that's like, on March 1991 is when this car was produced. And now it is March 2021. It is still the test of time for 30 whole years. And if you guys don't already know yet, if a car spans the time of 30 years in Australia, you can put it on historic or classic retro. And that's exactly what we're doing. The retro runs out tomorrow, Saturday. And we bought the car today, uh, yesterday, Thursday. 
because uh, to get the conditional or historic red shirt, you need to get a blue slip. You need to get a blue slip, and that blue slip has to then go to a car club. You pay the membership to the car club. Then from the car club, they have to send it off to a bloke somewhere to get it stamped, and then they f post it back to you. Then you go with the blue slip, the car ledger, and the stamp thing to the RMS, and then the RMS sign it off, and you pay register to them, which is like fuck all, like a hundred bucks, including the plates. And then you get the plates, and you slap it on the car. And boom, you got conditional slash historic retro. So we're gonna go for a conditional retro on the R31. Previously, we got historic because it was pretty much. Uh, well, I learned that historic has to be burned stock technically, but the R31 was still technically like lowered and shit. But it was on historic, so I was like, fuck it, I'll put it back on historic. But with the Sylvia, uh, I feel like you can look at it and be like, okay, this is definitely a bit modified. So I'm not gonna go crazy with the Sylvia. I'm just gonna kind of say like, you know, it's got coilovers, it's got wheels, but you're probably wondering why the fuck would you want historic conditional rego anyway? Well, the reason being, if you have conditional historic rego, it costs you like a couple hundred bucks a year to register your car. But the only downfall is you can only drive your car legally 60 days a year or to and from the mechanic or to certain events and that. So uh, look, as a person paying 1200 bucks a year in retro for one car, you can just put on a historic and look, you're not gonna drive that car every day anyway. You'd rather be in a general commuter. And I used to be a die hard fucking into the game type thing, man. I was driving around a 300 kilowatt Sylvia to or from work and a 340 kilowatt chaser and just Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia manual and just SR20Ds fucking dosing everywhere. But you realize it, it doesn't get really much practical when you have to go places and shit. So that's the reason why we bought this daily, right? Instead of buying a CRV, instead of buying a fucking another standard commuter car, this car is highly liquid. And if you don't know what highly liquid is, I suggest you fucking Google it. Liquidity means you can liquidate an asset really, really fast. Like I know for a fact, the Prado took, let's say, a month and a half to sell. But mind you, that was at the start of the year when the markets have been quiet. But I know for a fact, this car, the Civic, the Silvia, the Chaser, the Mark II, all three of them are highly liquid assets. Meaning if I post that shit tonight, I'll get 20, 30 different inquiries on the on the Mark II for sure. If I post a Sylvia, probably 40, right? If I post a Civic, uh, probably five. But still, that's still heaps more than just a general commuter car. So when people ask me, why do you keep buying these old la la cars? Because they're highly liquid, highly liquid assets that you can just sell really, really easily uh, for a good price. And they're only gonna go up and up in value because there's no more made like this currently. It's quite cozy, hey. Uh, it's got a uh, a boss kit, a genuine HKB boss kit, and the legit boss kits, and it's got a genuine Momo steering wheel. It came with a box and everything, so uh, it looks pretty, um, pretty schnazzy. Not my cup of tea. The interior is f very, very well. Look, it's clean, but it could use a clean, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't have any ribs. Uh, it, fucking ever since. Marty Carmod said a Civic smells like genitalia. It's like, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> I, can, I, I can resonate with that. There's a bit of genitalia <laughs> in the whip. Um, so there's also a model before this that came out, which is the CXI. You might see a lot in the pre facelift and the facelift models. Um, the pre facelift model has that black strip on the outside. You can get that in CXI or GLI. Uh, with CXI, it's all manual. Like. Um, you can get automatic, but the windows are manual, the mirrors are manual, it's a lot of finicky shit. I don't even know if it has aircon. And with the GLI, it's got a fully electric option. And there's pre facelift and facelift, so you get the black strip with the pre facelift. That's the model we have here, the pre facelift. My previous EK was a facelift model, and it's got the nice front and rear bumpers where it's got that no black strip on it. So I'd love to just convert the front and rear to the facelift bumpers because they look pretty sick. 
exterior it's got SSR 16 inch wheels yes they are genuine you want me to be fully fully transparent about the build because we can just do numbers I haven't spoken about numbers for any of my whips you know um, and I think you guys would be would appreciate some of the stuff that goes in my head in terms of pricing um, I do plan down the track to create some sort of course that you guys can purchase because um, I feel like I can give you guys some hella value and then charge y'all for a hundred bucks or so and then you can learn just how I did the whole 25 whip and I might use this car as an example and a few other whips as an example and just go a bit dive a bit deeper I don't know I gotta structure it out think about how I'm gonna do that should we talk about getting scammed on this right now all right let me tell you guys a story real quick all right let me tell you guys a story real quick so I was scrolling through Facebook marketplace can you guys see me Okay. Well, just going through Facebook, and you know how you get those uh, those ads that pop up, and I just kept seeing this same ad. And you know, I love Impalas, like those low riders, like you know, Cali sixty four, Snoop D O W G, all that shit. And I kept seeing these low riders, and they were um, remote control low riders that so you can actually drive the car, bounce it up and down. I'm like, oh, it's pretty sick. And I kept seeing the ad one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different times. I'm like, fuck, man, I keep seeing the same bloody ad. You know what? I'm gonna fucking buy it. Clicked on it, 50, uh, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I'm like, that is sweet. 50 bucks for a low rider that's from remote control. That's pretty fucking dope. So, you know what? I'm not gonna buy one, not two, not three. I bought four. I bought four of these bloody fucking cars. So I waited a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. It came, finally came in, like over a month later. I saw the box at home, it's pretty small. It's from China. I was like, okay. It's pretty small for four. I opened up the fucking box. Yeah, I got four cars. Four standard die cast, bitch ass cars. Yeah, I got fucking scammed. I got scammed, bro. Straight up fucking scammed. And I was like, aha, motherfucker. Luckily, I purchased it through PayPal, so I put a claim in, and I said, mate, what the fuck are you doing? I went to the website, I showed them the website, this is what the website shows, this is what I received, this is what I was charged, and the motherfucker's like, yeah, all right, we'll give you 70 bucks back. I'm like, no, decline, I want the full amount back. So they agreed to send me the full amount, but I had to post it back to China. And I said, well, why the fuck should I pay for postage when I didn't receive what I was requested in the first place? So I got the, 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 the shipping refunded, and now it's with PayPal. They just, I gave them the tracking number. Um, if you guys wanna know how I did that in more detail, let me know. But it's just, you gotta fight for this shit, man. Bro, this dude been cutting up weed. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. He been smoking in his bitch, bro. Look at that man. I was like, what the fuck? Give me some advice. Gotta steal the wheel. Always gotta keep on.